for it. So we, today we have Chris who's joining us. Hello. Hi, Chris. He's all the way from the uh, US. He's here in Singapore right now joining us and all the friends around us. So you probably cannot see everyone, but they're all hiding behind the screen right now. Okay. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of them, right? It's all oh, millions and millions of them all watching us. Yeah. And um, so what I want you to do, if you are there at home watching this video, take out your ICF competency list and you're going to follow us through all the competency. I'm going to make this very structured so that, and then we're going to slow this down so that you can see each step of the way so you can follow through the entire journey. Okay, so Chris, are you ready for this conversation? I am indeed. Okay, great. So, how are you guys, how, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. Excited about being finished with our day four of training. Wow, that's amazing. And I'm going to miss all of you because, and all the people that are watching us, because it's going to be, um, this journey has just started, right? Yeah. It's the end of the beginning. No worries about missing us. I'm sure we'll all be in contact with <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much once again for allowing us to record this session for the purpose of sharing the world and also for you guys out there to understand. And um, remember, this recording is a training purpose and for you to use it not as a standard. Remember, coaching is never formulaic. I want you to use this as a way for you to guide your coaching process. Okay, so tell me, how would you like to start today's conversation? Well, I got some, some issues that I'm working with and uh, I'd like to get some feedback and hear what you have to say about it. Okay, sure. And what would those issues be? Um, well, obviously I'm, I'm going down the road to start coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done a fair amount of what I thought was coaching before during my, my previous career. Uh, however, I'm learning that it's not so much coaching as perhaps something else. So I've learned a lot with that. Um, I've come to Singapore basically without any job. Um, and where I am right now is I'm exploring going down the road of doing various trainings, certifications, including coaching, mm -hmm. um, with the intention of starting my own business. Okay. Uh, however, uh, recent developments have, have come up uh, that there is a, a potential um, job being in the offing. Okay. And while there's not an, an actual offer on the table yet, I expect there to be soon. And my dilemma, if you will, is what to do. Okay. I've already started down the road with the, with the business. Um, however, the role is something that is very, very interesting and the, the, the money is it's such that it would be nice. Okay. Uh, also, the comfort of being into back into my industry and, so I'm kind of at a crossroads. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is that you are stuck between uh, these two decisions right now. Right. Your, your passion to want to start your own business as well as this new offer that just came in. Well, you know, you, <laughs> well, this is an interesting point. Yeah. You just mentioned the word passion. Yeah. Um, I don't know that there is a passion to start my own business. Okay. And I, I have a funny feeling this is where we're going to go with this. Um, but starting my own business was, was born out of necessity rather than passion. Okay, so tell, tell me more about that. Um, okay, I'm, I'm well along in my career and in, in my, my age. Yeah. Uh, historically, I've always been employed by a company. Um, I've developed a certain comfort in having a steady paycheck, in having management responsibilities, mm -hmm. in doing the things that we all do as, as managers or leaders uh, in the corporate world. Yeah. And while it's not something that I would say I like, nor is it something that I want to do from the outset, yeah. it's something that has evolved mm -hmm. and something that I've grown quite comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So now, out of necessity, I've looked at these other avenues. Um, I do like coaching. I do like one of my other ones is keynote speaking. I do enjoy that. Yeah. Um, but I don't know that I can actually make a career right? or, <laughs> or, or, or a decent living out of it, okay. let's say. Yeah. So what would you like to focus on in this 30 minutes that we have together? I want you to tell me what to do. You want me to tell you what to do? <laughs> okay. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I, I'm not really sure what to focus on. I want to. I want to discuss this. I mean, I. I think it's pretty clear. I, I. I know at least what this 
superficial problem in this case. Mm -hmm. um, so I think maybe trying to get down deeper to help me realize which direction I really want to go. Okay. And perhaps it's both directions. Mm -hmm. yep. And why is this important for you? Um, well, we're talking about, uh, in, in my mind, we're talking about livelihood. So it's important that uh, I earn, not only earn the money that I, that I want, but I also have a certain level of, of self-respect and um, something to do mm -hmm. in my later years. Yeah. Uh, that's covered. Okay. That's good. So if we were successful together, um, in this next 20, 30 minutes together, what would it look like for you? I think it would, I, I think the, the end game here is to have a more clear path mm -hmm. that's, that's facing me. Okay. Um, not necessarily a decision made, um, because as I said, I'm not really quite yet at that crossroads, uh, because that offer is not there yet. Mm -hmm. um, however, I would like to have some kind of an idea of you know, why I would make a decision one way or another. Okay. okay. And where are you right now in terms of the clar clarity? Well, since there is no offer on the table, yep. um, I don't really have to be at that point to make a decision. So where I am right now is that I am moving down the road of starting my own business. Mm -hmm. And I'm building the website. I'm finishing the, the, the process and coaching. Yeah. I'm doing the, the 100 hours, working through the 100 hours, um, and I'm very motivated to do that. In addition, I'm, I'm constantly booking keynote speeches in Singapore and moving forward with that as well. So these are things that I'm, that I'm doing. And until there is a final decision one way or another, I'm not going to stop that process. Okay. So what would it mean for you, you know, if you gain that clarity of the pathway that you want to move forward in? At, at the end of this conversation, if you get the clarity that, of the pathway that you want to go forward? Well, it would, I think yeah. it would focus my, my efforts. It would, it would make me concentrate more mm -hmm. one way or the other. Okay. okay. So for, right now, when you I mean, are faced with these decisions, um, are you, where, would you want to, where would you like to start? Sorry, are you asking me where I am right now in terms of leaning one way or the other? Yeah. Well, this is a difficult question. Once again, I, I, I fall back to, I think I naturally fall back towards my comfort zone. <laughs> and my comfort zone is working for a company and getting that paycheck. Okay. And what would a comfort zone be something more for you? Well, it would be certainly nice to, to call my own hours yeah. and to define my own work day on a regular basis rather than that work day being defined by someone else. Mm -hmm. So I think if I could get past this position of indecision yeah. um, that I could establish a new comfort zone in the other entity that I'm thinking about. Okay. And what is a comfort zone to you? Um, actually, I do a speech on comfort zone. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the gist of the speech is the comfort zone is, um, is a place where nothing grows. Okay. It's, a, it's a place of stasis. Okay. Uh, it's, it's the most dangerous place to be in the world. <laughs> so maybe comfort zone isn't the, the right phrase to use. Okay. So right now, where you are, are you in the comfort zone? No, absolutely no. not. Okay. No, I mean, I'm, since I'm not working per se, I'm yeah. doing a lot of different things. While I enjoy that, do, mm -hmm. doing those different things, yeah. um, I have to force myself to do them. Okay. Uh, you know, there's a fair amount of, of pushing that I do internally to make sure I'm here for these sessions on time, yeah. that I do my work outside of class, uh, and the same thing for the, the, the other trainings that I'm doing. So it's not comfortable, no. Okay. And what kind of zone would you like to be, other than the comfort zone? Um, I would like to be in a zone where I'm moving forward men mentally and emotionally, okay. as well as uh, professionally to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And which of the options will help you to get there? I think both. 
will help um, from a longer term perspective. I think the, the developing my own path is probably the, the holds the most promise. Mm -hmm. And what would you hold the most promise for you? Well, I'm fast approaching the time when I'm going to retire. Okay. Uh, so I've got, I mean, I'm not sure where we are and where I'll be at that time yeah. in terms of geographically, because <laughs> we tend to move around a fair amount. Um, but in the States, 65 is basically retirement age. Yeah. So I'm eight years from now. I don't know, I think that I will need to do something beyond that age. Okay. I don't play golf. Um, <laughs> I can't do, well, I'm not going to do martial arts and karate in my golden years. So I need to do something. And that's something I think is probably working. Yeah. So one of, the, one of the beauties of the idea that I'm having and that I'm doing, pursuing right now, is that this is something that I can do well into my retirement age. Mm do the consulting, I can do the coaching, I can do the keynote speaking. These are all things that not only I can do, but they're things that so far I like to do. Yeah. And what about the being employed? Is that something you like to do as well? I like the paycheck. You like the paycheck? I like the paycheck. <laughs> okay. And what about the other one, when you have to do your own consulting and coaching? Yes, there would be a, I mean, a, ideally there would be a paycheck to okay. that as well. Uh, I think it's something that I could be successful at, but the the growth, the trend upward, yeah. I have no idea what it would be, and that's that's a little bit daunting. That's a little bit worrisome. Okay, what about that? It's uh, worrisome for you. Um, well, again, we go to livelihood. Yeah. If it takes me a year and a half to establish uh, a cash flow from from this. Mm -hmm. That's a year and a half of um, not doing the things that we want to do, and you know, being limited and worrying about money and, and all that goes along with that. Okay, but would that help you to prepare for the next eight years? When you mentioned after uh, sixty-five, you're going to go for retirement. I mean, if I if I go down the road of pursuing the the, the job rather than the other, yeah. no. I mean, that's a if we can call eight years short term, it's yeah. a it's a short term solution. Okay. There's okay. no question about it. Okay. But that would give you stability in terms of your paycheck. Yes. Yeah. And how do you like stability? Um, <laughs> I laugh because I, I like stability. Yeah. Um, but I don't necessarily live stability. <laughs> um, I say that because in the last uh, I counted this up in the last thirteen years. I've had 17 homes, okay. places that I've lived for longer than three months, yep. and they, those have been in five countries. Yep. So where's home? What is stability? Um, it's not all that important to me. I think financial stability is, it's important is yeah. more important. And so what, what would happen if you get financial stability? more comfortable. I would be back in my comfort zone. <laughs> Which is something <laughs> that you don't nothing want. Nothing grows. Nothing grows, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. think um, financial stability is great. It, no, in all honesty, financial stability provides yeah. me and my wife with the ability to do the things that we enjoy to do. Okay. And that is travel. Mm -hmm. uh, that is live in nice places. That is uh, experience nice restaurants and nice bars. These are, these are the things that that we enjoy mm -hmm. and financial stability provides the means to do so okay so if you're able to enjoy the things that you and your wife want to enjoy what, what would it mean for you well I think we both be um, I'm, I'm trying to avoid the world word comfortable <laughs> but I think we would both be more uh, uh, satisfied yeah. uh, with our decision to move to Singapore okay so is this a place that you would call home I don't call any place home. <laughs> I call where I lay my head at that time home these okay. days. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoy being in Singapore. Mm -hmm. um, I do not see Singapore as a retirement place for me simply because of the cost. Okay. Okay. 
but it's something as well you want to, you want to leave by the, the paycheck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you're able to stay together and live together and enjoy the, what the financial uh, will bring you, what would it do for you and your wife? Again, it would allow us to do the things that we like to do, and um, this is important. She is uh, younger than I am, mm -hmm. so she has more working years, yeah. theoretically, yeah. than I do. So at some point when I stop working, uh, if it's for a company, then I, again, I have, to, I have to find something to do. Okay. I, can't, I can't sit home and do the dishes and make the beds every day and be her maid, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. So we, we will need to do something about that. Okay. And again, this path that, that, that I'm pursuing right now kind of holds the answers to that. Okay. And could you do this path that you're pursuing after you retire? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So you could study it right after you retire at 65? Or do you need to study it earlier? I think it's... I, I, Ideally, I want to start earlier. I, yeah. You know, I want. I, I'm starting now. Yeah. The, the, the big question, going back to the big question, I feel is that to what extent do I continue down? Hmm. Uh, if I decide to take this other role, who knows how much time I'll have to pursue this part of it? Yeah. And I may end up, um, as we often do, if it's not really necessary, uh, it's difficult to make time for. It. And my big fear is that if I try to do them both, the one that is going to win out is yeah. the one that is actually paying the most money, <laughs> even though it is a short-term solution. Yeah. So let's take a quick check back from where we started off today. You know, we started off today when you mentioned about, you know, you're stuck with this potential crossword that's not happened yet, but may happen uh, if the offer happens, and you're now trying to gain some clarity between these two. So I'm wondering where are we right now in terms of um, this conversation? Well, I think I think the conversation just yeah. just talking about and verbalizing out loud um, the reasons that I'm doing the path of my own thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I hear it out loud, it it, it seems almost uh, a no-brainer mm -hmm. to to pursue that path. The job thing is a is a short term solution, and I don't yeah. think I've ever put it in my head that it's a short term solution. But when you get, as we all get older, time seems to go by much much faster. Mm -hmm. And eight years um, goes by really fast. I feel that I could probably hold my breath <laughs> for eight years. So it's you know it's going to be here before we know it. Yeah. And what's holding you back from making this step forward? Well, I don't think much of anything right now. I mean, okay. As I said, I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. But I'm forcing myself to do it. Okay. And you like that? Um, I like forcing myself? Yeah. I always force myself. <laughs> I always force myself. Yeah. yeah, I do. Actually, I do like it. Yeah. Okay. And would this help you out of the comfort zone? Or is this still within the comfort zone? No, it's not in the comfort zone. Um, it won't be in the comfort zone and still, until I get established. Okay. And, uh, you know, things are live and there's a cash flow, money's coming in, yeah. um, and there's a, a building of a reputation, mm -hmm. building of a business. Yeah. Uh, that won't happen, I don't think, for some years. Okay. So when that time happens, when you have a steady cash flow and, and you have built a reputation for yourself, um, would that be a comfort zone for you or is there something more that you want to pursue? There's, well, so far, there's always something yeah. more some point in my life, I think I'm going to probably settle down, <laughs> but I haven't yet, and I, yeah. don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. That's good. So, looking at where we are right now, um, and you, you have, you're sort of like skewed towards, um, more towards setting your own business as the, where you're, where you're feeling more towards, right? At this current moment, or are you still half-half? I'm uh, still half-half. Half half. I'm still... I, I actually, I'm, I'm probably still leaning towards if the offer comes through to take the job. Okay. And earlier you mentioned that as you're verbalizing this, you sort of know where you, where you should be going. But somehow on the inside, you, if the offer comes, you know you want to go the other direction. Yeah. And why is there this conflict? Yeah. 
probably conditioning over the, the years that I've spent in business and, yeah. you know, work, I, I think I've, I think I've kind of come to a, a, a point in my life where I think, I, was, I keep wanting to say realize or something like that, but I think I've come to the point in my life where I believe that that model, mm -hmm. working for somebody, yeah. that paycheck, yeah. all the stuff that goes along with it, um, is just easier. Mm -hmm. Even though every day at work we may not, you know, may not be our best and it may not be exactly what we want to do, you still have to do it. Yeah. You don't have to like it, but you have to do it. Yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm really unable to dig myself out of that hole not being negative because yeah. I don't know what's better. But I, 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 I find it very, very difficult to make the commitment, even though I'm going down all the steps I need to do mm -hmm. to start this thing, I have a feeling that if, if that other option comes up, I'm going to snap it up. And is that what you want? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, okay. I don't know. I, 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 Again, I think so, okay. but I'm not sure. But I also want the other thing. Okay. So, uh, you know, I want to I wanna have my cake and eat it too. Okay. So what I'm hearing so far is that this offer that comes in, it seems like an easier option for you, yeah. right? It's a no-brainer. And the other option when you have to build your own business, you see there's a lot of work involved and there's a lot of, uh, and you've got to force yourself into it, but you don't mind that, that effort. So there's an easier option and there's a more forceful action. And there is also the other two dichotomy that you mentioned earlier about your comfort zone and the other zone of growth. So I'm wondering how all this plays out together. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. I, yeah. I, and if I, if I make the decision that I'm going to take the other role, yeah. it's not going to be easy because it is, it's a new company. It's, a, it's, it's not a new industry per se, yeah. but you know, there's a huge learning curve. There'll be a lot of travel. So it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think I just have more confidence mm -hmm. in doing that than going down that path of the unknown. Okay. And it's not, I, I don't think I have a fear of the unknown per se. Mm -hmm. Because as I've said, you know, I've traveled a lot, I've lived in a lot of countries, I've taken a lot of risks, and, and I do that. Yeah. And what, what, what is that fear then? <laughs> Fear is contagious. I do another <laughs> speech on that. Yep. Um, maybe it's lack of confidence. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not It's not fear so much of lack of confidence okay. in, in my abilities to make something out of nothing. Mm. What I'm hearing you so far share is that you are a confident person traveling from different risking, you know, risk uh, places but still making it happen. Yeah, I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. And, and you mentioned that if, I were to, if you were to go and get into this job offer, um, you have confidence because it's something that you are familiar with, the environment and everything. Uh, however, if you're, if you're pursuing this something new, this new area, it seems a lot of risk, but, uh, and that's when you feel the struggle of the confidence that you're using. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And so if you look at this too, if, you've, if you have more confidence, if you're able to build more confidence in this area, would that be an, a better option for you, or? Yes, I think that uh, if, 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 I don't know how I would do it, yeah. other than, than practice, 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 but even still, becoming, becoming good at it and developing a skill mm -hmm. and proficiency at doing coaching and doing the keynote speaking doesn't necessarily translate into a successful business venture either. Yep. And what could you do to increase the confidence? Baby step success. Okay. I think. <laughs> and what, what are some baby steps you could take? Start getting paid for some of this stuff. Okay. Have you begun getting paid for some of those stuff? Um, actually, yes. Okay. Yes. And how is that going for you? For this? Slow. Okay. Slow in the sense of, of um, the amount of monetary return. Is is quite slow, but it's also at the very beginning stages as well. Mm -hmm. So I have not yet been successful in getting a, a pay
paid speaking gig. Yeah. However, I have done several free speaking gigs, but this is that's the nature of the beast. Yeah. Um, with coaching, I've uh, done so far one paid coaching. I mean, actual money changing hands <laughs> type paid coaching. Um, as I mentioned earlier in our in our discussion, I've got. 18 to 20 appointments coming up in Poland okay. uh, that will all be paid coaching, coaching okay. uh, but very, very small amounts. Mm -hmm. But this is, again, these are, these are baby steps. Yeah. Yeah. And how is this baby steps helping you to move forward in your... I don't know yet. Okay. I, don't, uh, I don't know yet. We'll, okay. we'll, I think I'll have a better, a more clear picture on that after I return from, from the trip to Florida. Okay. And w would this help you with your confidence? I hope so. Okay. It's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the other is to get the, the certification, yeah. the practice, the confidence, um, to actually earn something on it. I think this all, will all go towards building my confidence in, 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 the, in the idea. It's almost a proof of concept. I hope it's a proof of concept. <laughs> yeah. So. When we look at, if you're able to do all that, right, and build the baby steps forward, would that add to your confidence? And would that confidence help you uh, to make a clearer deci decision? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Okay. I, think, I think during one of the sessions I had with, with my, with my cl classmates, um, <coughs> the question was posed, you know, how would I feel if, if I wasn't able to get these coaching sessions in, in Poland? Mm -hmm. um, response to that was that getting the, po the, the, the sessions is one thing, but performing poorly would be devastating. Mm -hmm. So I really need to make sure that I perform well during these, and if I do perform well, then it will certainly build my confidence and will add to the proof of concept. Mm -hmm. And how would you make sure that you can perform well in your trip to Poland? Um, I'm hoping that today we'll have some more practice. Okay. I'm hoping that during the week uh, oh. we'll have some online practice that mm. will help me. Yeah. Um, so that's the time that I have, basically, before this trip. Okay. Is, and would that be the, the baby steps to the baby step forward? Those are the baby <laughs> steps to the baby steps. Okay. Yes. And would those add confidence for you? Yes, absolutely. Okay, great. So as we come towards the, um, you know, towards the end of our conversation today, you know, what are we learning? What are you learning about yourself in this whole journey? Well, I think it helps. I think I'm learning that you know, verbalizing helps me yeah. um, develop rationale for what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not the type of person, believe it or not, even yeah. though I do like to talk, I don't really like to talk about the decision-making process that I go through on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I don't verbalize that. Yeah. That's something that happens for me internally most of my life. Yeah. So to talk about it, I'm learning that this kind of helps, yeah. um, but I can't, I, I, I think it would be very difficult to talk to somebody about this process mm -hmm. uh, that is providing me with guidance or opinion. <laughs> like, you know, if I were to discuss this with my wife, yeah. I think it would be very, very difficult to go through this process and yeah. benefit from it. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning that this is probably pretty good for me, the, yeah. the, the whole coaching uh, process, yeah. which probably wasn't the case before. I thought it was good for everybody else. <laughs> I can do it. I think I can do it. Uh, yeah. But I don't think that I would benefit from it. So I'm learning that maybe I can't. Okay. And is that helping you forward? I think so. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> That's good. You know, I, I could see as, as you were sharing that, that there's a little lightness as compared to the start of this conversation about, you know, uh, about how you're feeling right now. You feel a bit lighter? Yeah. 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 Uh, emotionally. Emotionally. Physically, I'm still yeah. weighing heavily on this <laughs> <chair>. <laughs> But emotionally, it's, it's much lighter. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, as you were just sharing, I could I could sense the lightness that that comes from that that sharing there. Yeah. yeah. 
Red is great. You know, so when we look at from the start of this conversation, you mentioned that you know uh, one one of the major success that we could see at the end is that it's not so much about making the choice, but maybe getting a little bit more light and more clarity about uh, the pathways. I wonder how is that happening right now for you? Yeah, yeah I think I think uh, I think I'm getting there. Okay. I think I'm getting there. Yeah. Is it so helping you in this? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. And are we missing anything to this conversation? Um, well, you haven't told me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not. Okay. And, and what are some of your next steps forward in, in this? Yeah, ne next, step are, next steps are to be sure that I attend as many of these courses moving forward okay. this week. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have a speech and engagement on Thursday, so I'm probably not going to catch that one. Yeah. So I'm going to try to at least make a Tuesday one and then the Friday Friday one. ones, yep. Um, and then uh, it will be starting in Poland for two and a half weeks. Okay. And to absolutely maximize those opportunities to get more and more practice. Mm -hmm. And how can you account yourself? Or who can you account to? I, I have already um, made 18 appointments. Okay. 18 or 20, I'm, I'm yeah. not sure. And I've got more potentials. Mm -hmm. So I've already got a spreadsheet list. I've already listed these on the ICF log without yeah. any dates and times. Those will be filled in yeah. once we move with forward with these. Yeah. And I also plan to attempt to work these individual sessions mm -hmm. into a longer term commitment with, with the people that I'm going to be working with. Okay. And how are you going to, how are you going to keep track of all this and who, or who could you account this to? Um, myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, the goal the goal is to to earn the ACC certification as soon as possible. Yeah, which I believe we said is January thirteenth. Yeah. Uh, so I know this is three months down the road, uh, but this is also a, a large uh, requirement that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I think this is the absolute most concrete way to hold myself accountable mm -hmm. is to make sure that that's done. Okay, so holding yourself accountable, would that serve you towards uh, your, your end goal? Would it be the best for you? Yes, I, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, a bit of hesitation well, over yeah, there. <laughs> we said end goal, and yeah. now, now I'm thinking, okay, my end goal, my end yeah. goal was to, to earn clarity on this decision-making mm -hmm. process. And now I'm saying the end goal is to get the ACC certification. Yep. Um, so there's kind of a disconnect there. Yep. But, but really, the end goal of, of the baby steps that I'm doing right now yep. are to get the ACC certification. Mm -hmm. And that's going to happen regardless of what path I decide to take. Yep. And since there is no physical offer on the table as yet, yep. um, this is the path that I'm going okay. on. Okay. So in answer to the question, sorry to be so verbose, but in answer to the question, yes. Okay, that's great. So before we enter this conversation, for our next session, what would you want to focus on? For our next session, I think yeah. where, where I am, if the offer comes through, when the offer or comes, or, no, when or when not, or if or if not, the offer comes. If the offer comes in, then I'm either going to we're either going to be talking about why I made the decision that I made. Yeah. If the offer does not come in, mm -hmm. then I think we have to talk about um, how I deal with that rejection. Okay. Because knowing myself, <laughs> if it doesn't come, I'm going to be devastated. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. So, thank you so much for you know this conversation that we have today, um, and I wish you all the best for your Poland trip. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank appreciate you. the uh, the session. Yeah. So, so look forward to seeing you in the next round. Yep. Okay. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay. So for those of you watching this, so that is an example of an ACC conversation uh, that we're having a really structured approach to helping you to get to ACC wherever you're watching this. So for more information, do click on subscribe or press the notification button for more details in the coming weeks as well. So see you guys soon. Okay.